like it's crucial to find these signs of depression anxiety if you're in some sort of addiction alcohol drugs you need to see if there's any sort of anxiety issue or depression issue now a lot of people are dual diagnosis which means that they have the alcohol problem or the drug problem and then they have a mental health problem as well and a lot of the times a lot of people go for a, a drug treatment or alcohol treatment program and then they'll be told oh you have a mental health condition or a problem i think you need to go sort that out first with your doctor so then the client goes to the doctors and then the doctor will be like oh yeah we can sort your mental health out and stuff but you have a, you have an addiction problem i think you need to go to the, men, the addiction center and try and get this problem solved with your addiction so the client doesn't know which way to go. He goes one way, he's told to go the other way, and told when he's gone the other way. So, so this is why they invented this thing called dual diagnosis, where what they do is they um, try and keep in uh, a uh, try and keep in contact with the client in terms of both the mental health and the addiction. So like I said, yes, it can be both most of the time, but get the addiction out of the way, and then straight after, go straight onto the mental health. If you need to pre-plan everything, pre-plan it for your addiction and your mental health not just for one and think I'll sort my mental health out later. Do both. Addiction will be the easiest one because anyone can stop, but they can't stay stopped. The only problem is to stay stopped is your mental health. Get your mental health done straight after. There won't be a problem.